Hello everyone. Today it is National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Children's Day. This is to celebrate how sacred and how special children are to Aboriginal people. It actually particularly refers to a date when the British came to Australia and a lot of things happened to children that weren't very nice mostly that they were taken away from their families. This is called and known as the Stolen Generation. Today's book I'm reading to you is written by a lady from the northern part of Western Australia in the Kimberley area. Each of these colours on this map, as you know, stands for a different Aboriginal language. And so her language comes from the Kimberley area. The name of this lady is Shirley Purdy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down here and read the book in Australian language, not Shirley's language, but it is on each page of the book. You'll be able to follow the story by looking at the pictures. So it's called my story. I am Shirley Purdy. A long time ago, my mother danced with the women at Mabel Downs. The men made music. Happy times. I was born at Mabel Downs. We call that place Gilburn. My dreaming is echidna dreaming and fire dreaming. My father looked into the fire and saw an echidna. That's why. My mother's country is Buala, Violet Valley. Three women roll spinifex near where the barramundi jump through the gap in the hills. See them here. My mother shows me how to find bush tucker. When the time is right, this tree is yellow with flowers. That's when we dig. My mother, my auntie and grandmother are kind. When the school teacher gets kangaroo ticks, they pick them out for her. Those ticks make you sore and red. Women use the bark of the freshwater mangrove to make a soapy lather to kill and catch the fish. The lather doesn't hurt the people. We eat that fish. I'm a girl and this bush orange tree is a girl. Boys can't say her name, but they can eat her fruit. We go out to get the bush honey and cut it out of the tree. We eat that sugar bag. My mum would go off to work. I stay home with the animals, one pussycat, one galah, one little black dog, and a joey kangaroo. They are my mates. One day, I go with my grandmother to look for a nanny goat near Yalinji River. One of our dogs finds something in a cave. It is a kangaroo. That kangaroo becomes our dinner. I worked as a maid on Mabel Down Station. I wake up at dawn and work all day. I work hard and can't stop until I've washed up all the dishes after dinner. The days are long.
My mother showed me how to get bush tucker and she showed me how to paint. Her name was Madigan Thomas. A long time ago, my uncle Jack Britton said to me, why don't you try yourself for painting? You might be all right. The Warman Artist and Rover Thomas and Queenie Mackenzie inspired me. It was hard learning all I needed to know. I sold my first painting and got better and better. And now I'm a famous artist. My paintings are all over the world, hanging in important places. I'm still painting, sharing corroboree, hunting for bush tucker and teaching the young people. Happy times. There we have Shirley at the end of the story. So what a beautiful story to hear. And it's true. And this is on the book list week books for this year. One of the many books. Book week has been moved around a little bit because of COVID. Um, and so we might be celebrating it a bit later at uh, Ashfield Library, but at our library, we will still recognise it in a couple of weeks time. So you'll hear me read a few more stories from the book week list, uh, which is around now. I hope you enjoyed the story about Shirley, her true story. Thanks everybody.